TLDR version of this video, if you do bench presses, especially when you do them at home, don't put lugs or clasps on your barbell, because if you do, you make the whole exercise much more dangerous than it needs to be. And now for the long version. You may remember that a while ago I did this video here about a teenager who killed himself by doing bench presses in his parents basement and getting stuck under the barbell. And as I already said in that video, I don't think that the teenager was stupid and I much more believe that he did the bench presses in exactly the way he thought was the right way because he probably had seen tons and tons of people doing them like that. And that is by putting the weights on the barbell and then putting clasps or lugs on the barbell. Now when you do that, what happens? You start lifting your barbell, then you maybe lose control over it and the lugs or clasps prevent the weights from sliding off the barbell. And when you totally lose control over the barbell, the weights will still be in place and all that weight very likely ends up on your chest or on your neck seriously injuring you. So what instead you should do is you don't use lugs or clasps and when you then lose control over the barbell is what happens is you lose control the weights on one side comes off then the barbell will be much heavier on this side the weight there slides off as well and all you are left with in your hands is the pure barbell without weights making it very unlikely that you will get stuck under it injuring yourself. Of course when you do bench presses your weights don't exactly look like this here and uh, much more likely like this and when one of those babies falls to the floor that makes for quite a bit of noise and possibly damage to the floor. So um, when you do your bench presses without safeties on, then put some cushions on the floor there where the plates might fall down to if they should, so that neither the floor nor the plates themselves will be damaged should the plates glide off the barbell. And this concludes this video. As always, I hope you found it a bit helpful. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye. Yesterday I noticed that I now have more than 2500 subscribers on YouTube and I think for that some thank yous are in order. So let me put it like this. I know that I'm not the most muscular guy here. Um, I also know that my videos aren't really high in production value. Then I also have this strange accent. And uh, last but not least, I sometimes feature a cat that could use losing some weight. But nonetheless, um, you people stick with me and tell me that I um, do something useful for you and I'm very very grateful for that. And it is not only that you get something out of it, I do too because you give me constructive criticism and make me see things from a different perspective and you keep me more engaged than I probably would be um, if I didn't do these videos. And last but not least, I also learned a lot about correct English pronunciation from all the things you told me and when you corrected me. So for all this positive, constructive feedback that I got from you and for sticking with me through all these videos and some really were not that great, I'm very thankful to you and I hope that we'll stick together for quite some time to come. So thank you for watching all these videos. Thank you for all your support.